good morning to everyone in the last class we have discussed about amdp on real time procedure real time scenario and today's concept is cds so previously we were using some procedures the database database level so here some transport management is uh, a bit tough here and for single work uh, for single job we are doing two times two jobs I mean uh, if you want to create something procedure and want to use in abap layer then we have to create in the database layer first of all that uh, procedure and after that one we have to create one database procedure proxy in our app layer then we can use that one okay. so to overcome this one sap has introduced this amdp okay and information model okay information model uh, attribute analytical calculation views are there right so for that one also same thing so previously we were creating information model attribute analytical calculation views but the transportation is different here and if we want to create a single view then we have to do the two jobs here for single work we need to create the attribute analytical calculation view in database layer and after that one we have to create one extend view in the abap layer okay so to overcome this one sap has introduced cds core data services okay here also same thing i mean uh, uh, how we are creating the information models Okay, by dragging and dropping the tables and fields like that we are uh, uh, creating the views information model views okay and here coming to cds view we have to write the code okay we have to write the code so cds is nothing but one view here okay uh, cds is nothing but one view uh, fine but uh, uh, we already have some views in our web layer projection view database view help view maintenance view four types of views are there then why sap has introduced one more view here okay cds view see if we use the uh, ddic sc11 views uh, projection and, uh, and database help maintenance view then it supports only inner join okay database view i am just taking considering so i am adding something three tables in that view okay so uh, automatically it will uh, apply some inner join concept in between of those three joins okay left outer join right outer join these all things are not possible because there is no option to write anything just we need to select the tables and we need to select the link fields in the sc11 uh, uh, the view concept we cannot write in single word also just we need to write means we, we need to write the field names or table names like that okay other than that one we cannot write anything so that is one main drawback here and calculation expression aggregation grouping uh, some functionalities okay, some calculations i want to get no some uh, sales order number and what is the net price okay for the sales order number uh, four items are there what is the total net price for that one some aggregations so this type of activities we cannot do in the uh, normal uh, views okay database help you maintenance you like that we cannot do those type of things just we need to uh, pick the data from different different tables and display the data that's it other than that one we cannot do anything okay and nested views also not possible Okay. I have created one view, so I want to use that view in another view. So nested views concept is not there in uh, DDIC views, SC11 views. 
to overcome these all things, SAP has introduced this uh, CDS. Okay, CDS view. So CDS abbreviation is core data services, and it is semantically rich data model, and uh, it is enhancement of SQL. Okay, how we are writing the code in normal uh, SQL, open SQL statements. Okay, it is, uh, I mean, it, it will work like, I mean, we will consider like enhancement of that SQL, open SQL. Means, for example, I'm writing something select query, okay, on top of four tables by using uh, joins. Okay, in the ABAP layer, in AC38 transaction, I am just writing something select query on top of four tables. Okay, and this is a regular activity. I mean, in many uh, programs, I have to use this uh, join for four tables. Then what I will do, I will create one CDS view. Okay, I will create one CDS view on top of four uh, tables and you can use it in any way, okay? By using single select query, select star from that view like that. Okay, and if you want to expose, okay? So I'm fetching something data from different, different tables. I want to expose the data. I want to send the data to outside of that uh, system, okay? I'm using something UI5 theory as a front end system. Then I want to send the data. Then we need to go to CDS view only. Okay, in normal AC38 program or AMDB concept, we cannot expose the data here. Okay. <clears throat> and is there any differences in uh, uh, normal? Uh, DTIC view and CDS view. Okay, so So databases, okay. So uh, I mean, this DDIC view can work on any database like Oracle. I mean, previously we were using something Oracle DB2, MS SQL, so different different databases we were using. At the time, uh, on top of the database, uh, SAP was installing that ERP software. Okay, SAP ERP software they are installing. So we were using the uh, views, database view, help view, maintenance view, projection view, like that. We were, we are creating the views and we can use the views in the AC38 and any other places, right? So any databases, yes. Okay, this is possible. Any database is possible. This, uh, uh, did AC view. Same thing, the CDS view also. Okay, CDS view also, it can work on any database. Okay. Any database means we have to install some uh, a NetViewer 7.4, I think. Okay, if you install the NetViewer 7.4, then CDS view, will, CDS view concept will work on any database. Okay, and so coming to the joins, so by default, DDAC view will contain inner join. And here in CDS view, we can write any join, okay? Inner join or left outer join or right outer join. Okay, we can use anything here. And calculations. Okay, 
calculations means some aggregate some aggregations okay those type of things is not possible because uh, it will not allow to do any calculation there to do any aggregation there and in CTSU, aggregations are possible. Okay, so we will see how can we do the aggregations. These are things we will see in the CTSU. Okay. And nested views. Nested views are not possible in GDAC views. I mean, nested views means uh, I will create one view. So that view I want to use in another view. So that is not possible in GDAC views. But coming to the CTSU, that is, that is possible. Okay, so these are the I mean differences. Normal, uh, I mean, uh, DDAC or AC eleven views to CDS view. Okay, and coming to the main concept, CDS view, it is uh, available in two flavors. Go data services. ABAP CDS view. HANA CDS view. Okay, two flavors. We will listen this type of words. Okay, ABAP CDS view and HANA CDS view, these type of things. So we will work on ABAP CDS view. We, we should not work on HANA CDS view. Okay, so what is this HANA CDS view and what is this ABAP CDS view? So we will create some... Uh, uh, I mean, some CDS view on top of application layer or ABAP layer. Okay, so those things here are called ABAP CDS views. Okay, we will create those views now. And coming to the HANA view, the architecture is different here. Okay. Architecture will be Presentation server. I'm just I'm just considering UFI or theory, so we can take anything here. I mean front end. And database server. Only HANA database, okay? It will not accept any other databases here. Only HANA database and front end, uh, one presentation server will be there. Two-tier architecture, okay? This is two-tier architecture. And we will call it as HANA XS. Okay, HANA XS. So <clears throat> here I'm just using two-tier architecture, presentation server and database server layers only are available and in this database server okay we are using only hana and here in built okay in the database layer only in built one application server will be there okay that is not separate server so in built in database server only one inbuilt server will be there that is application server okay so we have to write that we have to create the cds views here okay we have to create the cds view on top of database directly okay not in, there is no concept of application server separate application server okay so database server is there so in this database we have to create the cds views okay so that type of cds view will call here hana cds views and in this hana cds views we have to write only native sql statements it will not allow open sql statements and that is not in our course also HANA CDSU, that is different course. Okay, native, I mean, uh, HANA access, that is different course here. Okay, so as of now, we are in three-tier architecture, presentation layer, application layer, and database layer. Okay, three-tier architecture. So here, we have to create some CDS views on top of application layer, okay? So whenever we create the 
uh, view in application layer at that time. So in the database layer also, it will create one view. Okay, whenever we activate the CDS view in the application layer, then automatically it will create one more view in the database layer. How AMDP is working? Okay, we are creating one AMDP method. Okay, and we are calling the method. So whenever we call the method, automatic at that time, one processes will create in the database layer, right? In the same way, here also, whenever we activate the CDS view, in the, in the application layer at that time and database in database layer also one view will create okay we will we will see those things now so how to create the uh, cds view okay so cds view we cannot create in sap GUA. we have to go to eclipse or hana studio only two options are available. I will open server here. So our package is AOH2. And here I want to create some CDS views, right? So right click on the package, click on new button and click on other uh, ABAP repository object and here uh, search for core data services. Okay, core data services folder came and here data definition. Okay, just select the data definition here. We are defining something view here. Jet CDS. Get AOH2 CDS1 and I'm just giving testing as a description here. Okay, click on next button here. Uh, something uh, TR, I need to select click on next button and here something templates it is giving here. Okay, templates means so uh, if you want to create something, uh, I mean, joins concept here. Okay, so I want to join two tables like that. So automatically it will give some data. Just we need to add the table name and field name. Okay, or if you want to if you want to display something uh, data from a single table like that. Okay, so at the time we will go for define view. Okay, so here the template is coming here. So define view and here view name we have to select and uh, here table name we have to select. So this is a fields. Some annotations are coming. Uh, we will discuss about these annotations these all things and click on finish button here i am selecting define view okay and sap is providing a lot of uh, uh, templates here okay and we will work on different different concepts so uh, if we select something uh, define view with join is there okay so automatically some code is coming here okay by default some code is coming here so just we have to add some table names and the field name here like that the remaining data we have to write okay instead of writing sap is providing this much of code automatically so just click on define view here and click on finish button see automatically some code is coming here okay here whatever that code is coming in the blue color here in the top so this is called here some annotation Okay, annotations. So what is the use of these annotations? We will discuss it later. Okay, we will discuss. And here, one mandatory annotation is there. That's the first one. ABAP catalog dot SQL view name is there. Okay, this is the mandatory uh, annotation here. Okay, you can create any CDS view. One mandatory annotation we, we need to queue. That is the SQL view name annotation and this is the certification question. Okay. Fine. I have given the name as ZAOH2 and square CDS1. Okay, this is the name. So in this CDS view, I want to fetch something data.
from the VBAK table. Okay, data source name is there, right? So just remove this one data source name. In place of that one, you need to write the table name VBAK. Okay, and after that one, something open brace and close brace is there, right? So in between of these braces, we have to select the fields. Okay, so how many fields you want to pick from this? Uh, pick from that VBAK table. VBELN. AUDAT. No. Three fields I want to consider from this VBAK table. Okay. And here, something it is showing something error. If you if you click here, <clears throat> okay, it is showing like uh, must be specified this ABAP catalog and SQL view name. Okay, here I'm providing something name check over H2. SQL one. Okay, what I'm giving here. So I'm creating one CDS view in the ABAP layer, in the application layer, right? I'm giving the name as ZAOH2 CDS1. This is the name I have given in the application layer, right? So whenever I activate this CDS view, okay, at the time, I want to create one view in the database layer also, right? So that is the SQL view here. Okay, we need to give the name here. In the SQL view name is coming here, right? So this is the this is the name. Okay. So by using this ZAOH2 and SQL1, the view will create in the database layer. Okay, that is why this is a mandatory view. Fine. Now save it. Check it. No errors, activate it. It's activated, okay, it's activated. Now, I will execute it here. So click on this run as, and click on run as here, and select the ABAP application, or click on F8 button directly, it will execute, okay. <clears throat> Okay, fine. So this is the CDS view. Fine. So I want to get to know, okay, the, I mean, uh, in the database layer, it has created one view, right? So for that one, how can we check? Okay, we are giving something new uh, view name as ZAOH2 underscore SQL1. Okay, so by using this name, the view is creating in the database layer. How can we see that one? Okay, so click here and click on F3 button. So it will prompt to uh, SC11, okay, SC11 transaction. And you can see the DDL SQL view name, okay, ZAOH3 SQL1 is coming here. This is the database. I mean, the database, uh, the view is creating like this. Okay. On the reference, DDL source is coming here. The source view is ZAOH2 in CDS1. This is the, in the ABAP layer, okay, in the ABAP layer, I have created it. But in the database layer, this view is creating. Okay, and we can see the fields. See M A N D T. Here I am not. I am not selecting M A N D T field here. Okay, just three fields I am taking. B B E L N A U D A T Kunar. Three fields I am taking. But coming to the S C eleven uh, view, I mean database view. Here four fields it is showing. M A N D T it is showing uh, automatically. Okay, see in CDS view, the client handling will come automatically, not required to uh, mention it externally. Okay, coming to AMDP, in AMDP, we need to mention this MNDTP in where condition. Okay, that is mandatory thing in AMDP, but coming to the CDS view, that is not mandatory. Okay, automatically it will consider, this is the client, I mean, uh, dependent. So I can execute here, right? I'm clicking an F8 button, something data is coming. So this is fine. I will open uh, SAP GUI once again. 
otherwise you can click on uh, this JDOH2 and click on F3 button, it will go to C11 transaction. Okay, and I'm opening the uh, view separately in SAP GUI. Just opening. AC11 transaction and here jet AOH2 underscore SQL1. Sorry, this is the table light. I will go to view here. Okay, view and jet AOH2 SQL1. So click on display button. So it is coming here. Click on execute button. So click on execute, same thing, okay, same thing. So how we are uh, seeing the data in the Eclipse, same data is coming here also. Okay, now we can use, we can use this CDS view name in any program, okay, any program. <clears throat> And I'm trying to edit this one. Okay. Just let me, I mean, click an edit button here. So it is showing like you cannot edit uh, this object with a standard, I mean, standard editor. Okay. Choose display object or cancel. Means we cannot edit the CDS view in the SC11 transaction. If you want to edit something, then we have to go to Eclipse or HANA Studio, we can edit there and we can see the uh, changes in AC11 transaction only for displaying the uh, view, not for changing and creating the CDS views in AC11 transaction or in SAP GUI. Okay, fine. I will create one program here. Okay. I'm creating something program here. I want to fetch something data from a uh, view. Okay. Select start from the view name. Okay. CDS view name I'm giving here jet uh, AOH2 CDS1 into table at the data for sales information. Okay. Let me check it here. Find there is no error. And here. Activate it and execute it, okay, something data is coming here, okay, something data is coming. So what is going on here? So in real time, we will uh, create a CDS view with multiple tables joins, okay, four or five tables or more than five tables joins, we will, uh, I mean, we will create CDS view, okay, and we will call like this, select star from that view, and we will keep the data in one internal table. Okay, so what will happen? So the CDS view name is created, right? So automatically, one uh, SQL, SQL view name will be there for the CDS view, right? So it will go to that uh, view in the database. So it will do the all the joins there. Okay, all joins it will do in the single in the single place. 
okay and it will populate the output how many fields we want to display how many fields we have to use in application layer okay those fields only it will send from database layer to application layer only one time database triggering okay, only one time so if we don't i mean i mean if we don't have this concept then what will happen we have to use some for all entries concept here okay so four tables or five tables i am i want to join here so first time it will go to the database it will pick the first table information and it will send to the application layer and second time it will go to the database it will pick the data from the table and it will send to the application layer so in the same way how many tables are there that many of times it will go to the database and it will pick the data and send the and send to application layer okay and here uh, we have to send some unwanted data also okay some dependency data also we need to send from database to application layer so how much data is transferring here and how many times it is triggering the database to avoid that one cds view uh, just in select in a single set query i am just getting the output okay whatever the output we want so that output we can we can fetch from the cds view and we are not fetching unwanted or dependency data the exact data whatever we want the exact fields so those fields only we can fetch from the uh, database to application layer okay fine i'm just executing it here click on f8 button and i want to see okay how it is creating in the database okay how it is creating in the database so this is the front end so we are writing some open sql statements only okay open sql statements i want to get to know how it is creating in the database so right click in a empty place so this is a empty place is there right right click here and click on show sql create statement see how it is okay. create or replace view okay create or replace view z a o h v s p l 1 you can see the name z a o h v s p l 1 okay so here i am giving z a o h v s p l 1 i am giving here okay. with this name z a o h v s p l 1 with this name uh, sap is creating one view in the database okay. select from and these all fields are coming from bb ak okay so the view is creating like this in the database but in the front end i mean in the application layer just we are selecting the fields just i am giving something table name and field name like that okay just execute it so it is coming like this right so for fetching the data what is the sql syntax here okay so select so these all fields okay the view name hyphen field name like that and from a uh, uh, view name okay there is a select query okay to fetch the data from the view okay just we are clicking an execute button but in the back in the back end the sql code is calling like this okay fine and we can see here number of entries okay here it is showing something 100 rows you can see 100 rows retrieved in 3 microseconds okay now click on this number of entries here how many records are available total 320 records are available but it is picking 100 records only and we can we can increase the size here okay 100 records is coming so maximum rows maximum rows how many records we have to select so we need to provide it here just i'm selecting 500 so click on enter button at the time you can see 320 rows selected okay 320 rows retrieved In twenty-four microseconds. Twenty-four microseconds. You can see. Okay. 
and fine here i want to give some filter okay i want to give some filter so i am taking the customer number five all zeros okay so for this five all zeros i want to give some filter so click on this add filter so some, some drop down is there click on that button and click on honor on which field you want to give the filter option just select that field here honor and the value the okay, five all zeros i am giving so you see only customer number five all zeros information is coming here okay this is a filter option here So close it. And fine. Here, if we want to give something alias names, we can give here. Okay. As SO number. As document date. As customer. Okay. Now activate it. Execute it. Okay. So S1 number, document date, and customer. Instead of the technical names, some description is coming here. Okay, alias name is okay, fine. And The description how it is coming testing is coming here okay the view description is coming as testing so how it is coming so i am coming to the eclipse here and you can see end user text label is there okay this is one annotation end user text label it will provide the description okay so here i am providing something sales information okay sales information and click on activate it. Okay, I will I will remove it. These are all the optional things. So I am just removing these all things. Okay, I am just keeping only two annotations. First one is a mandatory annotation because the view will create in the database by using this name. So we need to provide this one. And the second one is a uh, this is.